As I've been sharing with you this week about different invitations in the Bible, today I want to share about the theme of being open to the invitation of the Holy Spirit. Because we believe the Holy Spirit is living, active, still speaking, still guiding the church and guiding our daily lives as we're open to hearing and discerning the Spirit in our lives. I want to share with you a wonderful story that comes to us in Acts chapter 8. This is a story now that the faith of Jesus, known as the Way, is starting to spread to non-Jewish regions now in Palestine and in that area. And we hear a story about Philip. And this Philip is one of those seven men who are named as one of the as the first deacons earlier in the book of Acts. Well, Philip is obviously special. He's not only a deacon, but he's clearly an evangelist, and he's someone who's open to the invitation and the leading of the Holy Spirit. And in Acts chapter 8, beginning at verse 26, uh, an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go to the south. He gets these instructions, and Philip obeys. And then our verse for the day is from Acts 8, 29. It says, Then the Spirit said to Philip, Go over to this chariot, and join it. Now, what I'm going to say, for some of you, you may say, well, I've never had this kind of experience that Philip had. I've never heard an audible voice telling me with great specificity, I want you to go to this chariot, not that one, and I want you to join it. Uh, but I believe that the Holy Spirit still wants to be communicating with every believer. And how that happens for us is different for different people. Uh, there are some of us who feel like we hear an audible voice or a voice in our head. Others of us feel like all of a sudden uh, it's like an idea pops into our head or a thought or an idea and we feel like we recognize this is God prompting me. And promptings are another thing. I mean, have you ever had the experience of feeling like I need to call someone? I need to text someone. I need to email someone. They just pop into your head. Uh, as I shared a long time ago in one of these devotions, when I was talking about Samuel, I shared the prayer of Samuel, which is simply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And oftentimes when I say that prayer, uh, people will come to my mind, and so I will call them or text them or email them and ask how they're doing. And so often there's something going on. To me, this is all part of trying to listen to the invitation of the Holy Spirit so we can be faithful in responding on a daily basis. God did not stop speaking when the Bible was written. God is still communicating. God is still inviting us to be God's connection to other people who are not yet a part of the family of faith, just as Philip was for this Ethiopian man. So be open to the invitation of the Holy Spirit so that God can use you. You may just be going down the road, going for a walk in the grocery store, and God may want you to speak to someone else and to start building a bridge of friendship that Jesus can walk across or to pray for someone or just give them a word of encouragement. The more you're open to it, the more you're going to find it happening.